we provide customised sustainable solutions for the built environment. So, it's clear that we have to act more sustainably. The CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere today are currently the highest they've been in 350,000 years. In January of 2013, for the first time on record, Australia achieved seven consecutive days over 39 degrees. These are unprecedented temperatures to the point where the Bureau of Meteorology had to come up with a new colour for the climate map. However, we have also demonstrated that we can take action and lead the world. Since the introduction of the carbon price, emissions from fossil power generation are down 9%. This is an incredible achievement and has demonstrated to the world what can be done when firm action is taken. Other challenges facing us are, the population of Australia is expected to increase by 75% between now and 2050. That means there's going to be an extra 1 million inhabitants in cities like Melbourne and Sydney. So we simply can't continue to live the way we live and use the world's finite resources in the manner we are today. We all know that energy costs are rising. However, in the last five years, the price of electricity has actually doubled. It's expected to increase another 30% between now and 2016. Gas prices are expected to double in the next five years and water is also expected to increase significantly over the next few years. Rising energy costs don't mean rising bills. Energy efficiency offers enormous opportunities and doesn't mean a reduction in living standards. Barangaroo in Sydney will be climate positive, meaning it generates more electricity than it uses, but offers state-of-the-art living and working environment. The Victorian Government's Greener Building Programme is reducing emissions and electricity bills by as much as 60%. When you consider that the state spends over $400 million a year on electricity, this is a fantastic initiative that will put millions of dollars back into the community to provide better services. Australian cities are full of older buildings. According to the Property Council, B, C and D grade buildings make up over half the country's CBDs. These buildings offer the greatest opportunity for savings as the Greener Buildings Programme has demonstrated. Industry has an even greater opportunity. Worldwide, 20 million industrial motors consume 65% of industrial energy, or equivalent to four years of Australian demand. Currently available technology will allow us to make these systems far more efficient. There are big government incentives available too. Some estimates predict that there is as much as $6 billion in available funding for energy efficiency schemes around the country, such as energy upgrade agreements and assistance for industry. Neighbours' ratings can add significant value to a property, and as 98% of the buildings that will be here in the year 2050 are already built, this means upgrades offer the greatest opportunity to reduce our footprint and save millions of dollars. So, government has played its part, We've had the introduction of the carbon price. In Victoria, we have the Greener Buildings Programme. It's now up to business to move this forward. The inspiration for creating Programme Sustainable Solutions was really threefold. Firstly, it was around customer feedback. Secondly, it was around the macroeconomics. And thirdly, I guess my personal perspective of being in the industry for 30 years. Uh, firstly, um, customers um, from a market sounding exercise have categorically told us that there's an opportunity in the marketplace to add a lot more value to them than what we do at the moment through providing sustainable solutions. Secondly, the macroeconomics where we see rising energy prices and also the government policy and support for really driving a reduction in energy consumption. And thirdly is my personal passion for the built environment. I see massive opportunity here to really make a difference uh, in terms of sustainable solutions to the environment, to the community, for the betterment of industry and employees at large. Program has been in business for over 50 years. We work with a diverse range of clients, from councils to governments, hospitals to universities and schools. The list goes on. We are in a very privileged position to work with these clients over many years, gaining an intimate knowledge of their facilities. 
we offer a consultative approach. We sit with our client to work out their individual requirements. From that, we can do a feasibility study and work to achieve the client's specific objectives. We execute those recommendations and maintain the facility to ensure those measures and savings are delivered consistently. We offer a true end-to-end -end solution. This gives clients the opportunity to completely future-proof their facility, meaning that you will be mitigating against future energy, gas and water price rises. As Confucius said, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step.